So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. Now in today's video, I want to share with you guys a piece of my financial journey and share with you guys the one thing that I learned that helped me become rich at age 22. Now stick with me through this video. I want to share with you guys basically what I've learned as a young 22 year old entrepreneur on how to build wealth at a young age. Being young, I'm so focused. I'm so motivated to share what I've learned from other successful entrepreneurs, how I've been able to move out, how I've been able to make over six figures without a college degree, and more importantly, how I've been able to build a on a landscaping business, build multiple streams of income online, and start building a personal brand on TikTok that is generating me income in my life. The reason I want to share with you guys all this is because I've learned one thing that has really changed my life in 2020, 2021, and more importantly, it's going to be changing my life in 2022. I was a young, lost, hungry, ambitious, eager entrepreneur, but I didn't know what it took. I was reading so many things about get rich quick, invest in this, make money, but I realized finally what I needed to do in my life, and I want to share with you guys what you can do in your life that allowed you to start building wealth, more importantly, at a young age. There is so much BS. There is so much waste of information out there, and I just want to share with you guys what I've learned going through this process, and more importantly, just help you make more money in your life, help you get ahead of your friends in life, and more importantly, set yourself up to build true financial wealth in your life. And what I discovered through this young, eager, full journey of waking up every day, trying to become a better version of myself, trying to make more money for myself, making $10,000, $12,000, $17,000 per month as a young entrepreneur with no college degree, starting from zero, and I was just completely lost in my life. I realized that I became wealthy when I learned one thing, one thing that rich people do that poor middle class people do not do. And what the rich do not do is they say one word. You could say it could require different actions, that they have all this money coming into life. But the one thing that I discovered that I allowed myself to realize that if I want to be rich, if I want to make the most of my money, if I want to become successful, have high achieving goals, if I want to build something for myself, a YouTube channel, start this new business, go out there and make money online, whatever my ambitions are, I need to eliminate one word from my mouth. And what rich people do not do, and I became rich when I finally understood this, is that Rich people do not say the words, I wish. If you ever look at someone who's really successful, if you ever look at someone who's built something for themselves, if you've seen someone that has nice things, you're going to ask themselves, I wish I had that. The middle class, the poor, they always ask this question, I wish, only if I had that. I wish I started investing when I was earlier. I wish I could have had a business. I wish I had more money. I wish I had a beautiful wife or a beautiful husband. I wish I had this dream life. I wish, I wish, I wish. Now, being 22 years old, I realize that being young, being eager, no matter where you are in life, that you have full control of your circumstances. The reason that people get rich is because of the habits, the actions, and what they do with their day-to-day -day life. And I see so many young entrepreneurs struggling with building wealth, so many young entrepreneurs trying to build something for themselves, and more importantly, I see some people wasting money and then saying, I wish I did this. But the truth is, it comes down to your exact actions that you're making in your life. My goals as a young entrepreneur, to build wealth, it's all simple. The truth is, the rules are out there. Everyone is scripting exactly what you need to do to build wealth. You make money, you invest money, you allow yourself to build assets in your life and these assets pay for your life now what whatever path you take to acquire this money it's on your decision whatever a, a path you take to go out there and invest in assets in the stock market real estate um crypto whatever you do with your money is your choice but guys the truth and the blueprint is truly out there and once i understood this that i could wake up for myself every day to go out there and build this dream life, that I had full control of my life, that I could go out there and be with certain people in my life, that I had control of what you know what I did on my Friday nights or what I did on my Saturday nights, and that I can control what I could do with my life. Well, guess what? Life got so much easier, and more importantly, my wealth, my, <clears throat> my ability to go out there and invest, my ability to go make more money completely skyrocketed in 2021. So what I want to share with you guys is that you cannot be the person to blame other people. If you want to build wealth, especially at a young age, if you want to go out there and start building an amazing life. It does not matter about your experience, your age. You have to wake up every day. You have to get your shoes on. You have to go out there and do things. And more importantly, you have to do these things every day to watch compound growth change your life. And that's exactly what I did in 2021. I woke up for myself. I had ambitions for myself. I cut out negative things. I was going to college. I dropped college because I knew that it wasn't going to serve me. I wish I was going to be a business owner is exactly what I was saying. But I decided to take this full force in my life and I started to drop out and drop it on the things that I wanted. And what I realized, guys, is that rich people have full control of their life. You ever hang out people? You ever surround yourself with people that say, hey, I wish I had this life or I wish I had this boat or I wish I had that time? Well, guess what? We all have a conscious decision every day. No matter if you're rich, wealthy, broke, poor, wherever you are in life, you have a decision 
decision to do whatever you want to do with your time. Now, what you do with your time, money, your resources is exactly on you. If you want to be wealthy, you know one thing. When it comes to money, invest money, make money, live, work hard, and build wealth for yourself. Number two, it comes down to your time. Where are you allocating your time? The weekends will be fun spent on Netflix, gambling, wasting your time, drinking, partying. But what do rich people do? What do successful, really high striving people do? They allocate their time that's going to make them more money that is eventually going to build freedom in their life. So be conscious of what you're doing. And this is one thing I unlocked that I was not being taught in college, that I was not being taught by my parents, that I wasn't being taught by people that I was surrounding myself with, is that you have a full decision, you have full disclosure over your life, and what you do with your time, what you do with the people that are around you, what you do with your money is so up to you that no one else controls or dictates your life. And one of the most liberating things that I realized is that I have full control. If I want to make more money, well, guess what? I need to acquire new skills. If I want to go out there and get myself in better job positions or surround myself with you know higher achievers that I need to delete my friend group I need to move on to new things find and surround myself with better people and if I want to go out there and build success and wealth in my life then what am I doing with my free time am I learning am I investing am I trying to meet new people that are successful and skilled or am I going out there and wasting at the bars drinking my pain away avoiding even though I am 22 even though that you might be young even though that you have no clue what you want to do in life what are you doing every day if you're striving to build something for yourself well guess what Building is exactly what's going to happen in your life. So that's what I want to say. It's a little rant, but guys, I just feel like at my age, being so young and so eager and motivated, I just have so much ambition for myself. I have so, hope you have so much ambition for yourself. I just want to share with you guys that you have full control over your life. Rich people get rich for not luck. Rich people don't get get rich because they just made one or two right decisions. Well, truthfully, it comes down to the long-term decisions that they made every day that they're doing for themselves that get themselves into lucky positions, that allow themselves to set themselves up, that allow them to get that car that eventually broke people will say, hey, they got rich, they're lucky. Broke people don't make ex- broke people do make excuses. Rich people just find a way. And I just want to share with you guys going into 2022, my greatest ambition is to continue to strive, to continue to put my head down, to continue to focus on what I can do every day, what I can spend my time doing, and more importantly, how can I allocate my resources to allow me to have the most compound growth, most magnificent life, and more importantly, the last thing that hurts my heart, that breaks me down every day is that when I see people young, my age, spending money like it's going out of style, spending money to literally flex, to buy new watches, to buy the new car, to buy the new this, just to look rich, but truthfully, it is hurting their wealth and hurting their long-term horizons. And it's just something that just makes me so sad to see because if you allocate those dollars the right way now when you're young, if you put those that money, those dollars, that capital in positions that eventually lead you to growth, long-term in the stock market, long-term in skills, long-term in reading, long-term in education, well, guess what? This will create the most growth and will allow like to get rich so just don't take the quick money live to invest live to learn and more importantly understand that you can do this for yourself so that's what i've learned in 2021 going into 2022 and i just hope more people will take this you know a little bit of advice and i just want to get this off my heart and my chest because i feel like that there can be so many more successful young entrepreneurs if they just knew exactly what to do and knew that they took tens of 15s of 20 years of sacrifice to get them to the point but so many people think short term so many people ask themselves at the end of the road 15 20 30 years on the road i wish i had that but you knew exactly what you needed to do when you were my age, you knew exactly what you need to do 10 years ago, and you know exactly what you need to do right now to set yourself up for worth. But are you willing to take the sacrifice? Are you willing to take the long way home? Are you willing to get, you know, made fun of your friends? Are you willing to take the ridicule from your parents and the people that are closest to you? Are you you willing to take the criticism at Thanksgiving, Easter holiday dinners, because you're living in a one bedroom apartment, saving your money, investing your money? It comes down to decisions that you make. And more importantly, delete the word I wish out of your vocabulary and watch life get better. I love you guys so much. Thank you for so thank you for tuning into this YouTube video and if there's anything I can answer I want to share this has been truly on my heart have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one cheers peace out